the parts that make up this governor. This one right here, that's a good example of one that somebody has made in the shop. It does not have the oil ring around it, but they did go ahead and saw that screwdriver slot deep enough to where oil could get in there. Good idea. It's a, a shop made one. The original one had an oil groove in the center. But it was sealed up on the end right there, so it's kind of, it's a little iffy. One of the things, I, the way this thing goes, this would be in this position right here. And the this washer was in an engine. And it's too big. It's way too big. Uh, do not use that. You need one that is the correct size because that is really, that, that is a... That's a friction free. That that should be really really free. Uh, sh this one right here. Uh, this this would not. Th this one, in a dirty condition as it is, would not govern 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 correctly. If this was on there and tightened up, see see that. Yeah, I have to actually move it. So. And it's tight enough to where that that would not slang out. That, that would not govern. So if you have one of these that's not free, then your governor is not going to work. It's RPM, basically, is when it fires again. When that flywheel coasts to a lower speed, then this will come back down. Because the minimum minimum is not keeping this slung out. So when the minimum minimum of the flywheel slows down, then this will come back down due to spring pressure here, and it will far again. If this does not fly out quick enough, it will far two or three times. Several things will dictate that, one of them being no movement here. This one may far, according to RPMs, but it may far five or six times and then fly out, and then it may coast almost to a dead stop before that would come back down and far again. So there is several things that dictates the intervals between far coasting, barring, coasting. There's several things that comes into play. Backing plates. You will see on this backing plate, it has a round boss, two of them threaded to mount the points onto. No positioning mechanism whatsoever. You will observe on this backing plate, this is the one that has the pins embedded, two holes drilled, and two pins, dowel pins uh, positioned, and when you put the points on here, you don't have a choice. You have to live with that adjustment, whatever the speed of the engine is, and, and this adjustment right here, it, it was it was great. If you had your wash engine on a wash machine, and you was using it as intended, then this was a great setting, but if you just have your engine uh, on a static display where the engine just sits there in the grass and runs idling all the time then you need to change the point position and there is another one that has this oblong base that's not drilled for the pins there, there is another version of this we're talking about the uh, Bosch Magneta don't be confused that this is Eisman. It's a Bosch. American Bosch. It's a FYED4. Something to think about is these points, all of them has one thing, one, one item in particular. All of these points are identical in one aspect. This point has the holes drilled for the locating pins. They would have positioned on this backing plate. No adjustment whatsoever. Now, had you had this set of points, it does not have the locating pin. So you could not use you could not use this set of points on this backing plate 
because it don't have no holes drilled in it. It won't go up on yonder. This this same same thing it won't go there. So what you have to do is pull them pins out, and then you can put whatever kind of point you got on yonder. You ought to remove them pins anyway. Back to the let's get them all turned around here where we're uh, no confusion. Well, we're looking at the same thing. These two right here are drilled for the locating pins. These two are not. No locating pins. This one's drilled for the ground strap, uh, as all, all of these are, this particular bunch here. Uh, this one is not drilled for the ground strap. The, uh, this one's not. The ones that's not drilled for the ground strap will have a ground. There's, it comes from the back of the points all the way around. It comes around to ground on the permanent backing plate. The one that has the ground strap comes around the same, same idea. It just grounds the movable blade. It does have a felt oil wick in the top of this pivot pin that's made onto here. Now you will encounter, you see that small pivot point in that set of points and this larger, the way this fixed blade is, see it has a really, really small gap right there to pivot on that. Works really good. A nice set of points. Good, clean, quite a, quite a, this point, these points are not worn very much at all. When they, at, at just at ease there, they're a perfect alignment. The way you align that alignment is you loosen up this jam nut here, and then you turn your points downward or upward to put the alignment in there. That's, that is really important. Now this blade right here, you see that's on that big pivot? Okay, this blade will not work on that other set of points, or that other set of point blade won't work on here. It's a different angle. Just, uh, you know, just, just some, some things that, that we're looking at. Uh, differences. The ones that has the spring on the back side of here, that's to put on there to, to keep uh, retard. The bounce, it's it's so that the points won't bounce, kind of keeps them positioned correctly. The this one here, and this this spring blade that comes around in the back and fits in that little little notch in there, that that keeps the tension on yonder. But without that plate on the back, see that can actually get a maybe a vibration. I'm thinking about the word. Well, that's enough. I'm not going to say nothing else about these points because, you know, that's about all they are to it. But I will, and, and, and I will, I may, I could, I probably ought to add something. In these backing plates that I have brought out here so far, they've all been, of the later ones, they do not have the V molded in here. I will show you one of them. These later ones has this little, little, little ring right there, that little, probably a support, strengthening, that little thing around through there, it looks good too. The later ones has that, the early ones, that's just flat, that's not there. It's one way you can tell it. And this one right here is a 1936. You may ask how I know that, and I will tell you later on.